Hi, Chris. I'm sure you're not pleased with the result, but what did you think about your team's play, um, you know, the result aside? Overall, I thought we played pretty well. Uh, anytime you put up, uh, I believe it was 53 shots, you must be doing something well. Uh, you're pushing. Um, you know, even after the first period, uh, I know we were down 2-0, but, you know, I thought we made a couple of mistakes and um, it cost us. But overall, I thought we could have had a few more goals or could have had some goals in the, sec or in the first period. We got them in the second. Um, but overall, pretty, pretty good um, pretty good effort by the guys. I would like us, you know, work on some things, but the effort was there. And, um, yeah, we just came up a little short. Stuart Skinner was pretty, you know, honest and, and, you know, direct about his own play. He felt like, you know, in his words, that he lost the game for the team. I mean, what do you, hear, what do you think when you hear that as the coach? And, you know, what, what do you think about the kind of the accountability that he has for himself? Um, yeah, I, I hear a guy who cares. Um, putting out a 100% effort every time he hits the ice, whether it's games or practices. I know he came up big in the um, uh, second period with some big saves. I know he didn't, wasn't tested very much, but I know at the end of the second period, came a huge save, uh, maintained the one goal lead going into the uh, third period. Um, yeah, there's a couple that he probably wants back in the, in the third period, but um, yeah, we'll, um, all our guys have bad games and we'll put them behind us. Chris, this question is from Cam. Uh, he wanted to know if you think that Skinner looked or maybe felt a little bit tired and if that's a concern. No, I, I think tonight was, um, um, yeah, no, the last week he hasn't played very much. Yes, he played the previous game. Um, I think the workload in that game was um, pretty adequate. Uh, I think maybe just... It's tough for the goalies when they're not getting the flow. Um, a lot of time in the offensive zone, they're not getting the shots. It's, you kind of maybe lose focus. I'm not sure what it was, but, you know, I don't think that had anything to do with it. It looks like with, uh, with Dreisaitl, you've had a few combinations of wingers. You're trying some different things there. What, what are you seeing, and what did you think of the, the Janmark and, and Fogel uh, pairing with him? Uh, I think they had a lot of good chances tonight, and they spent a lot of time in the offensive zone. I think the only time we got away from it was... Um, when uh, Leo was taking key face-offs in the defensive zone. Otherwise, I think pretty much all his shifts were um, with those two wingers. And I, I meant more over the last number of games where yeah. you moved things around a little bit. How, how are you liking kind of what you're seeing through that middle part of your lineup? Well, we'll let them play through it and kind of build some chemistry. And tonight I thought they had more chances than they gave up. And I know it didn't show up on the uh, plus minus uh, for them, but and I think they could have had uh, several goals, especially early in the game. Chris, how do you react when you know your team's playing that well, especially the second period? You're all over them. Vasilevsky, you know, showed why he's maybe the best goalie in the league. Do you take solace out of that, or is it like, hey, part of your job is to score? How do you, how do you approach it at a point like that where maybe you could have put the game away? Well, there's always going to be games where you play well enough that you should have won, and there's going to be games that you win that. Um, you don't, and uh, tonight is going to be one of those where, you know, it just didn't work out. I, I liked our guys' effort, and we do that again, play like that. More often than not, then we'll win. And um, I came in here, and we talked about uh, the process and doing things right, and we can't always look at the outcome. Tonight's one of those times we can't look at the outcome because there was more good than bad tonight.